Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how the fight or flight response involves coordination between the nervous system and the endocrine system. In a previous video, we looked at the adrenal glands, and if you haven't seen that video, then you need to watch it now. We saw that the adrenal glands contain two regions. These are called the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla, and these two regions secrete a number of different hormones into the bloodstream. Now, the adrenal glands play a major role in the body's response to stress. Scientists refer to this as the fight or flight response. And the fight or flight response is common to all mammals. For example, in this photograph, a cat and a dog are demonstrating typical fight or flight responses. In the fight or flight response, the nervous system and the endocrine system work together. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the fight or flight response. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that the fight or flight response involves the autonomic nervous system. And we saw this in the video on the organization of the nervous system. Remember that the autonomic nervous system involves involuntary responses, not under conscious control. For example, the heart rate. Now, if a threat is detected, for example, a loud noise, then receptors send nervous impulses to the brain, and this causes the hypothalamus to become activated. The hypothalamus now activates two different systems. These are the sympathetic nervous system, which operates via nerve impulses, and the adrenal cortical system, which operates via hormones. We're going to start with the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system has two major effects in the fight or flight response. Firstly, Nervous impulses trigger the activation of glands and smooth muscles. For example, sweat glands are triggered to release sweat. This helps to cool the body down during rapid muscle contraction, such as running away from a threat. Smooth muscles in the eyes contract, causing the pupils to dilate. More light can now enter the eye, allowing us to visualize the threat more easily. Secondly, the sympathetic nervous system activates the adrenal medulla, to release adrenaline and noradrenaline into the bloodstream. And again, these hormones prepare the body for fight or flight. Adrenaline triggers the breakdown of glycogen reserves in the liver. This is called glycogenolysis. This releases glucose into the bloodstream to provide energy for muscle contraction. Both hormones also cause the heart rate to increase, transferring oxygen and glucose more rapidly to muscle cells via the blood. Okay, now, as well as activating the sympathetic nervous system, the hypothalamus also activates the adrenal cortical system. In this case, the hypothalamus releases corticotropin releasing factor, or CRF. CRF triggers the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotrophic hormone, or ACTH, into the bloodstream. ACTH now triggers the adrenal cortex to release a range of hormones, including cortisol. And we saw the effects of these hormones in the video on the adrenal glands. So as you can see, both the sympathetic nervous system and the endocrine system are involved in the fight or flight response. Now, fight or flight triggers a range of different responses, and I'm showing these here. As we've seen, the pupils dilate, allowing more light to enter the eyes. Blood glucose concentration increases, providing more energy for muscle contraction. The heart rate increases, increasing blood flow to muscles and the brain. Arterioles in the skin narrow or constrict, diverting blood to the muscles and brain. The digestive system slows down, focusing energy resources on essential systems. And smooth muscles in the airways relax. This causes the airways to dilate, allowing more air to enter the lungs. And all of these responses prepare the animal to either fight or run away from danger. In the next video, we look at the actions of hormones in cell signaling, looking specifically at adrenaline. 